Today, Shaliners, let's talk about sex, specifically when to have sex with the guy that you're dating, or when to give that first blowjob, or when to take your bra off, or even when to kiss them. What's the timeline? Like, what's normal, what's not normal? I have good news and I have bad news. I can't tell you what's normal because there is no normal, and I can't tell you what's abnormal because there is no abnormal either. So whatever you're doing is fine. The only reason it's not fine is if you don't feel fine. If you're betraying some part of you that is like, this is moving too fast, or if it's moving too slow. And it's hard to know where you stand. So my overall advice is wait, 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 wait. Then wait a little more. Wait as long as you can, and there's a few reasons. Number one, you need to suss out a guy's true motives. The rise and explosion of fuckboys in America and abroad is like, mind-blowing and frightening to me. It's like how now that Trump's in office, these racists and supremacists have come out of the woodwork because they feel emboldened to do so. It's like fuck boys. Like, I don't know, since Snapchat came around, they're like, hi. And this is, this is what I think, like, they're like one part retarded SpongeBob and also sort of like a penis. Huh. And they feel like it's completely okay to be super awful and we as a girl have to take some responsibility for this because a lot of times we don't call them out. You know, we just let them like, oh, you want nudes? Okay. You want to fuck in the first date? All right. You want a blow job in your car? Like, okay. We have to be better than this because we are better than this. We have to stop. So the one thing fuck boys are not is patient. They are very impatient because they only want one thing. It's like when you go to McDonald's, you're really impatient because you're like, I'm not here for the experience. I'm here to get fed and leave. I want to get my stuff and I want to go. When you go to a nice restaurant, you take your time. A man who sees you as a McDonald's drive through is not the guy you need to be giving it up to, okay? He doesn't respect you the way you don't respect McDonald's. You don't respect the cuisine of McDonald's. And you are no McDonald's, my friend. You are not a collection of chicken nuggets and McFlurries. No. So a fuck boy isn't gonna wait around. And the best way to deal with them is to call their bluff. I do this with dudes my age, and it works at my age. Like I'll say, if I think a guy's a fuck boy, I'm like, you know, like I actually don't sleep with someone right away. I, I wait like a few weeks and I just like to get to know someone. And besides, I like to do all the other stuff leading up to sleeping with someone. I love kissing and I love the making out and everything. And I can see on their faces if they're a fuck boy. Cause if they are, they're like, hmm. They, they're immediately thinking I'm wasting my time. I'm at McDonald's and they want me to sit at a table and they're gonna take 20 minutes to get this food out. I wanna get in and out. Brother, no. And when they do that, when they balk and when they stop calling and when they you know, try to make me feel bad for this, oh, you're a prude, that's so weird. I thought you were like a modern girl. I'm like, I have dodged a bullet because that's all they were in for it for anyway. And once they got it, once they got fed, they were gonna be out. <sighs> just makes me crazy. So this is even more important when you're young because like now, all right, I sleep with a guy and he doesn't call. Like it's annoying, but it, it doesn't like wreck me like it would have if I was 17 or even 22 or even 24. Like that meant a lot then as it should, it should mean a lot at any age. And you shouldn't have to tell yourself that you don't care when you do. So you want to wait to suss out his motives and tell a guy up front, be like, you know what? I don't sleep with someone unless we're boyfriend, girlfriend. I just don't. See what he says. A quality guy will be like, amazing. He will love that because I did it with my current boyfriend. He was like, yes. I was lying, of course. <laughs> we slept together. <laughs> Not super long after that, but I really sold it when I told him that. And he believed me, he bought it. I know, it's crazy. The second reason you wanna wait is because you wanna get good at those other things. I lost my virginity when I was like 21 and a half-ish. Like I was older for sure. And I gotta tell you, I am great in bed. I am, I'm a good speaker, I'm a good writer, but I am great at sex because I got so good at all of the parts that make up sex. I am great at kissing. There's a reason my kissing tutorial videos have 35 million views each. I know what I'm doing because I spent so many years doing it. I'm gonna blow jobs, like I'm, I'm just good at it because Sex and hooking up is like anything else. You have to practice to be good at it. And in society, that's like frowned upon. So it's an interesting workaround that the longer you wait to have sex, the better you get at it because you practice at all these other little things that are like the real markers of if you're good in bed. I've never met anyone who is a shitty kisser and who's good in bed. Never. 
If you're bad at one child, you're going to be bad at the other because kissing is the thing you do first. It's the thing you do the longest. So really let that build. If you're not going to serve that main entree, great. Get real good at the appetizers, honey. And let that tension build. This is the third reason. The definition of pleasure is not getting what you want right away. You can sleep with someone on the second date, but then you lose that, like that, oh, that anticipation. And when we have to wait for things, it makes them so much more valuable. Just think about the things you got for Christmas when you were a kid, you know, cause you couldn't go out and buy it yourself. And you're like an Xbox, like it, you were over the top excited. Now when you can acquire things for your own, you're like, yeah, I got an Xbox, whatever. So you want to wait to suss out the fuck boys to get real good at stuff and to build that tension with the dude, because that's going to bond you guys. And it's going to make your relationship deeper. You also need to realize that no one else cares when you're having sex. If you're having sex, no one cares, but you and the guy you're dealing with. You know what I mean? If I could take one thing away from like my experience growing up, it would be the shoulds. I was collapsing under the shoulds. I should be doing this. I should look like this. I should want this, but I don't, I should need to be here. It's like, I, I was just twisting myself into a knot, trying to conform to what I thought I needed to be. And I didn't need to be any of those things. Ironically, it's when I found my own voice and was like, I'm going to wait to have sex. So I'm like 21. That's when boys started chasing me because I was self-possessed and I knew what I was doing and I knew my own mind. There's nothing more magnetic than a woman who knows her own mind, says what she wants, no apologies. Look at the women who dudes are most obsessed with. Beyonce, Rihanna. These are not shrinking violets. These are women who know what they want and they say it. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out. So wait, 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 and wait some more. But if you want to go faster and if you want to do more, that's great. Just make sure that that's truly what you want, not what you think the guy wants and needs to stick around. Because if you think that's what he needs to stick around, he's not going to stick around. Not what your friends are going to approve of, not what society says is right or wrong. You have to please you. Other people's judgments will only, you'll only hear them for about 10 seconds. The judgments of your own actions, you have to sit with 24 seven. So you better be pre pleasing yourself first in like a lot of ways. Cause if your dude isn't pleasing you, pleasing you, you go ahead and go please yourself. Always let a man know he's expendable. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. If you like this, click like, subscribe, and please share. If you have a love question of your own, leave it in the comment section below or a private YouTube message. And follow me on Snap, Twitter, and Instagram at ShallonXO.